Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could work with layers in PowerPoint. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now why would you possibly wanna work with layers in PowerPoint and what does that even mean? Well, when you put a whole bunch of different items on a slide, let's say a text box and maybe shapes and images, they have different layers in the spreadsheet. Instead of me trying to explain, why don't we actually go look at an example? So here I am on my desktop and I have PowerPoint that comes with Office 365. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Layers have been around in PowerPoint for quite some time. So even if you're using an older version of PowerPoint, you should have access to layers. So here's a thumbnail that I created for YouTube and you'll see that there are a few different things in here. I have text in here, I have my photo in here, I have a keyboard in here. All of these sit on a different layer. So here if I take this keyboard, I'm gonna just drag it over to the side. You'll see that that was actually sitting behind me and I'm in front of that. What I can do is, you know, very simple way to work with layers is you can go to this option, you simply right click on the item and you could go to bring the front or send the back. So here I could send myself to the back, I could click on the keyboard and I could send it to the front. Um, or, you know, here I could click on myself and send me to the front. What I can also do is if I hover over this option, there's an option where you could bring it all the way to the front or you could simply bring it one layer forward or you could push it one layer back or you could send it all the way back. Um, so you have a few different options there, but especially when you get a lot of different items on your slide, it really becomes difficult when you're just moving things up, you know, one layer by one layer by one layer, or, you know, even if you just want to send it all the way, uh, it, you don't really have that much control. So how do you work with layers in a better way? Uh, well, what you can do is on the home pivot here, so I'm gonna click on home, there's an option over on the far right hand side under the editing section called select. The name is a li it doesn't really imply too much. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then under here you could either select all objects, you could select individual objects, or you have what's called the selection pane. This thing is money when it comes to working with layers and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna click on that. And so one of the things you'll see here now is I have this selection pane. And, and so right now they're kind of nondescript names. It says, you know, picture three, picture four, text box. So it doesn't really tell me too much, but if, as I click on the items, you'll see the element highlight. Um, so here when I click on my picture, uh, or picture three, it selects me. And so I can actually double click on that and I'm gonna name that Kevin because that's my name. Uh, and so that'll help me know what that item is. Here I could click on the keyboard and maybe I'll just retitle that keyboard. Um, and then here, you know, I could see that these are the, the music symbols. Um, this, is the, this is the YouTube logo, so I'm just gonna call that logo. Um, and then this is just uh, upload music. So now I know what all the different elements are. And now when it comes to working with layers, what you can do is, so right here, the item at the very top of the list is the top layer. The item at the very bottom of the list is the bottom layer. So here, when I showed that example earlier with the keyboard, how I moved it up and down, what I can also do is if I click on Kevin and I drag it below keyboard, now it's one layer down. And so here I could swap them again, um, or I can move Kevin all the way down, I can move Kevin all the way up. And so you see how I could adjust the layers in that way. Another cool thing that I could do as well, not, uh, when it comes to layers, I can also hide a layer. So here I'll click on um, the little eye and I could actually hide myself. So let's say you're working on a slide or you're working on a graphic in PowerPoint and you're working on kind of one area. Maybe you wanna hide the other portions so you're not distracted. Maybe you're working on an animation and you don't want the other objects getting in the way. Uh, you could simply hide that. Uh, so here I'm gonna show myself again. You could also use these little arrows where you could send it backward or send it up or you could drag and drop where you wanna place it on the list. Um, you also have some other options where you could hide all or you could show all. Here I could hide all and just show myself if I'm kind of a narcissist and I just wanna see myself without anything else on there. Um, but actually I'd like some company so I'll click on show all. Um, the selection pane is really an awesome way to work with layers in PowerPoint. Uh, it's actually, you know, PowerPoint is actually a pretty powerful graphics program slide tool, especially when you get into layers and you move things up and down, you could really do some fancy things. Um, it's very similar to like, if you, if you think of something like Photoshop or, you know, paint.net, any one of these imaging programs where they also have layers, PowerPoint has all that same type of functionality uh, where you could work with different layers. 
Um, anyway, I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Um, if this helps you work with layers and you're now more easily able to move things up and down in layers, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification anytime new content comes out. And if you have any other ideas or anything else that you wanna learn about, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And that's all I had for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.